<laughs> I don't really like the way this is looking. I Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. So today I figure I try to do my eyebrows with the whole soap brow method. Uh, I don't have the original soap brows. I just have the pears one, this one. So I'm going to be trying that out today. I don't have anything on my face or anything. I plan to do my face later. I have like another video to film. So this is how my eyebrows look. I, I think I have thick eyebrows. Um, especially in here like in this section right here so i'm a little scared of how this is gonna look i am probably look like a werewolf i don't know but um i wanted to try it out because my eyebrows grow this way they grow this way and i feel like a couple hairs in here and in here grow kind of down and i always have to like push them up or i have to fill in this part so that way it could kind of look like the hair is not like just stranded off from my eyebrow. All right, so this is my eyebrow up close. As you can see, my eyebrows are pretty thick. I don't really have thin eyebrows. I have a couple of spots here that are a little bit thinner, but that's pretty normal when it comes to like the tails of your eyebrows. And it's a little short, so I usually fill in this part here and the outside. This part I try to fill in a little bit because my eyebrows are thick. So sometimes this part makes it look a little bit too thick if I go overboard. And um, this eyebrow is a little bit thinner in here. So I do fill in that part. I just try to do a little bit because my eyebrows are dark. So um, I already, ooh, I already plucked my eyebrows last time, a couple days ago or whatever. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna see how they look when they're like combed up. So as you can see, they kind of lay better as like I'm combing them this way. See how the hairs lay flatter? But when I comb them up, they kind of look all weird. So that's why I wanted to try that out. I want to see how they look, you know, up and bushy and whatever. So I'm going to, I don't have anything on my eyebrows. So I'm going to use the pears and I'm going to use the Maybelline. Um, I mean Maybelline. <laughs> Milani spray just to get the soap wet. I didn't want to use water. And I'm just using the spoolie off an old eyebrow pencil. So I'm just gonna spray like twice. I know the brush doesn't have to be that wet because you don't want it to look soapy. If you put too much water, it's gonna bubble up and stuff. So I'm going to rub it in until it looks like a paste. So I bought the lash kit, the lash curling kit, lash perm or whatever, to do the laminated brows. I wanted to try that out too, but that's going to be a little while from now since everything is taking forever. So this is how it's looking. See, it's like pea, like white, pasty. So I'm just going to start combing this up. All right. So this part is looking a little weird. See how it's like way thicker than this part? It kind of looks like I'm going like this. I don't know. But I'm just going to keep on combing it. So it's going up and it's making my eyebrows look flat. Like flat to the head. See how this one you can kind of see but on the side it looks really flat. It looks weird. Um. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my god. It is so much more thicker and flatter. I don't know if that's normal or if I'm supposed to flatten it. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to do this one to see what happens maybe after it sits a little bit. So this one, I think I put too much liquid. So I feel it a little bit wet. Um, see, I feel like this one looks a little bit more normal, like more bushier. And see how this one looks a little bit more flat. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like do it hard. See, as I'm like rubbing it in, it kind of gets flatter. Or am I supposed to leave it like that? I don't know. 
So I really love the way the models look on Instagram with like the whole silk brows. I feel like it makes it look so much more nicer and more natural. But we're gonna see if my eyebrows gonna look like that. <laughs> I don't know, to me it's making this part of my eye look a little bit more chunky. It looks so weird. But, um, alright, I feel like, I, let me do this, see if I like loosen up the hair. So this one is still a little bit wet. Not wet, but it's not as flat as the other one. So I'm gonna try to like loosen it up. So see I have like a little bald spot right there. I usually fill that in. It depends like if I can see it. I know when my hairs are going that way, I can't see it because the hair is covering it. So I'm gonna see. See like when I adjust the hairs more this way, it covers it up. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So that kind of made, my eyebrows look thick as hell. like the way this is looking I know my eyebrows are really thick in here I try to make them thinner but sometimes it doesn't work so I'm gonna try to move the hairs into like shape with the end of the spoolie to see if that like makes this part more um, thinner So if I move that, see how I move that and it looks a bit more straight, it doesn't look as natural and bushy as I would like it to look. So I'm gonna keep on like messing with it to see if it helps loosen up the hairs. So I still feel like this one is too flat. How flat that looks. <laughs> you can see like the flat part, then this part of my eye. I'm gonna try to loosen them up. I feel like they're just too flat. Oh, there you go. Some of them are coming back up. So maybe if I don't go like this, I'll just like feather it out that way doesn't like flatten too much. So I feel like this part is still too flat. All right, so I'm just gonna leave them like this and just start filling in like my bald spots and see how it looks after. I'm going to use the e.l.f. eyebrow pomade with an angled brush. I don't really have a really small thin one, so hopefully this works out because I don't want it to look more <laughs> thicker than what it is. So, to me, I feel like right here is pretty good, like the shape. I feel like there's no spots missing, so I'm gonna try and fix this one. Just so I could look a little bit like that one. And then I'm going to fix the tails of my eyebrows. Trying not to do like a real defined eyebrow because this is more of a natural kind of look. So I'm trying to like just feather it out. All right. So 
so once I fill them in, I feel like they don't look too bad. But I do feel like in here it still looks a little bit thicker. So I... Oh, wait. Let me fix this part. This part is a little thin. So I'm going to try to fix that. I'm just going to try to fill in this spot since... This one is a little bit thinner. So I'm liking this brow way better than this one. I'm so gonna clean them up with concealer just so I can see if I can make this a little bit thinner. So before I apply the concealer, I'm gonna clean this up. This is soap on the sides and stuff. I don't want it to mix with the concealer. So I definitely like this shape better. So I feel like they are loosening up a little bit, like the hairs are not feeling as stuck onto my forehead. But this is how they look so far. I actually don't really think they look that bad. I just feel like my, like in here, is a little bit too thick for me. So I'm going to try and fix that with the concealer. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop concealer because it's more thinner. And I'm going to use my Morphe M224. So I'm gonna start in here since this is the part I want a little bit thinner. I'm gonna try to go over my, I'm gonna go in here that way, this is the part that I, need, I want thinner. So I'm gonna go over the hairs a little bit. That way it could give it like sort of an, an illusion that it's thinner by going over the hairs. It's not, it's not gonna be a lot, it's probably gonna be like a thinner line of hair. So they look still thin, I mean thick, with the concealer. So I'm gonna see if I go in a little bit more in this area, just to make it a tad bit more thinner. All right, so this is how the eyebrow looks. I kinda like it now. I just feel like I really have to make this part thinner when I uh, use the concealer. But I do like the way they look so far. So I'm gonna finish the other one. The other one is more on the thinner side. It's more thinner than this one. So I kinda wanna make it even. And I always start off with the eyebrow that I need to fix or that needs more work that way I could get it the way I want it because then the eyebrow that is a little bit better would be a little bit faster that's why I just do this really quick because I don't really need to do it as thin as this one I mean why I don't really need to do it thin at all I just use the concealer just to clean it up so this one is always going to be thinner because it is naturally thinner without anything so I'm gonna try again to just make a little bit more thinner in here see the difference it's not gonna be perfect but it's driving me crazy right now just a little bit and then I may just move these hairs a little bit just so they could go a little bit more down and look a little bit more thinner. So I do feel like my tails are still short. I'm gonna, just a tad bit. All right, so this is how they look. I don't really, I don't normally do the top. I don't clean up anything on the top because I normally like the top to look more natural. I don't really like a defined eyebrow especially like on the top I usually just clean up the bottom that way and I only clean up the bottom because it's not even when I do it without um, the soap brows or anything like that but um this is how they look 
they look a little bit scary now because you don't have like I don't have any makeup on or anything and I know when you do your eyebrows without makeup they kind of look more bolder but um I know after like my makeup is done it's going to you know look more toned down and stuff like that so you have to take that into consideration when you're doing your eyebrows that way you're not like you're not like what the hell is this but um I do like them I feel like they didn't come out in the beginning it was a little bit more scary because they looked so flat but I think because of like me moving and they're like settling in the soap kind of like relaxed a little bit so the hair started coming up and like lifting up but they still kind of kept the shape that I had them in they're not perfect but it still kept like the shape that I that I put them in I'm actually not going to do my makeup I was going to do my makeup and show you guys how it looks but I forgot I'm doing a full face of like one makeup brand and they do have an eyebrow pencil that I want to use so this is going to be it for today <laughs> but I really do like the way they came out now in the beginning like I said it was a little bit scary but I do like them I feel like they look a little bit natural I think I just have to work on this part making it look a little bit thin maybe I will pluck a little bit more hairs out of like my inner eyebrow just to make it look a little bit thinner because they are a little bit thick anyway all right so this is it I'm sorry I didn't get to do my makeup but I really do want to do the full face of the other makeup brand so this is it my plain face looking crazy but I do like my eyebrows um, again you could get this this pair of soap at the dollar store I actually think you can get it at the dollar store or like any drugstore because it's really inexpensive and um, I would just suggest getting like a really thin brush or a marker eyebrow pencil that way it could you could do more of like the hair strokes with that it's thinner and it would look more bushier and stuff like that but other than that this is it um, I hope you guys like this quick little soap brows tutorial and I will see you on the next one